A news alert as we come on the air here this midday. You are watching 10 Tampa Bay. I'm Josh Sidorowicz in for Courtney Robinson. Right now, students and staff at Hernando High School, they are mourning the death of a student. A district spokesperson there tells us that she was shot and killed over now. We want to get right to 10 Tampa Bay's Chris Rogers. He is live in South Brooksville, where we know she lived. She went to school. Chris, what are they telling you out there? Well, Josh, as you can see, this scene is still very inactive one. You can see police still here on the corner of Hazel Avenue and Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard as this investigation still in those early stages. What we do know is this community is mourning the loss of 17 year old Hernando High School student Isabella Scavelli. Friends and school staff describe her as outgoing, joyous, friendly. She was an athlete. She played on the tennis team at Hernando High School. One friend we spoke with this morning gave us permission to share these photos with is of Isabella to remember her life. Let's get you up to speed on the investigation. Deputies responded around 1130 last night after reports of a double shooting. When they arrived, they found two people shot, but the shooter was nowhere to be found. Scavelli later died at the hospital. A close friend who we spoke with today says the shock is still setting in. She had just spoken with her friend last night on Snapchat, and she remembers her as a bright and outgoing person. The grief, as you can imagine, is overwhelming. I just wish she was like in a better place like before any of this happened like mentally because I know she was going through stuff personally you could tell but I never really asked her because yes. she's always like laughing and joking <laughs> A spokesperson for the district says that grief counselors are on the campus right now and they will be available for students for as long as they need them. As this community mourns the loss of a teenager who had her whole life ahead of her. We'll have more on this story coming up tonight at 5 and 6. For now reporting live in Hernando County, Chris Rogers, 10 Tampa Bay.